Hello guys, welcome back. So today I'm just bringing you my first English build order for Age of Empires 4. So this build order is for the English Longbowman Rush. So it's quite a good build order. It's probably going to be the uh, certainly the meta probably for uh, English to start off with. We'll see how much the uh, meta develops. But uh, the first thing you do is to send your starting villagers onto the sheep. And then the next three villagers that come out are going to go over to gold. Now we're not going to be keeping them on gold for the entirety of the feudal age or the dark age even. We only need them to collect 200 gold. Because that's all we need for advancing. So we're just going to uh, make sure that we make a house as well on the way. So that's where the house comes in. And then one more villager onto the gold. And then following on from that it's a case of just sending five new villagers onto wood. So it's quite a straightforward build order very very simple obviously there's a few bits to do past that point which you'll uh, which you'll see but uh, whilst this is happening just make sure you're scouting around the map trying to pick up any more uh, sheep that you can find I think we're actually playing on Black Forest uh, with this map and playing against the Chinese so Chinese are a sieve who can uh, generally advance pretty pretty quickly so uh, we'll see if we get there first and see whether we can take advantage of this particular rush. So we're just sending uh, the first of the five villages over to the wood now. So we've just got four more to go. And then uh, we'll probably be at a stage where we can look at clicking up to, uh, I say clicking up, start making the uh, landmark. However, you can see at the resources in the bottom left corner, we've got 170 gold. So we literally only need just one more drop off from each of these gold villages, like so. And then what we do is we send them over to sheep. So that's going to bump us up to nine on food. And then we're just waiting for two more for wood to come out. And uh, we just need to get up to uh, 400 food. And then we should be able to build the first landmark. So the landmark we're going to be building is the Council Hall. Council Hall acts like an archery range for the English. Uh, it does, however, have a very good bonus, which is uh, that it collects or that it produces 100% faster. So essentially, you'll be producing your longbowmen at the same rate as you would if you had two archery ranges. So really, really good, really strong. Uh, saving quite a bit of wood because obviously you don't need to build the uh, archery ranges. And there we see, we're just putting that council hall down there now. So we've got five on wood, six on food, three builders at this point. And uh, we just need to keep sending more and more villagers over to wood. So we're just going to send another four over to wood uh, from this point. Because we're going to want to make sure that we've got plenty of wood to be able to uh, maintain archer production. So the longbowmen. They're actually uh, quite a bit better. They're a sort of a replacement for this, the standard archer that everybody else gets. Uh, but they're a little bit better. So they actually have two more range than the standard archer. Uh, standard archer has five range, longbowman has seven. But they also have an extra attack as well. So uh, makes them you know, much stronger than the standard generic archers. So in a straight up fight, you would certainly expect the longbowman to win that one. Okay, so I'm just going to be uh, getting more villagers. It's quite important to make sure that we get a house down there. Got plenty of sheep there, so we just need to go and drop those off. No real rush to move the uh, villagers off of the sheep. We've got plenty of sheep there, keep them going. Those villagers who are just building the landmark, once they finish that, they'll be going over to the uh, food once again. And then essentially after that, it's a case of uh, all the new villagers from that point will go on to food as well. So probably over to the berries there. Um, eventually you may want to put some more on wood, get a second lumber camp down, perhaps even get a dock down on this particular map and uh, start doing some fishing. But the main point, well the main thing we want to do is to start spamming out those longbowmen. As you can see the enemy, the Chinese player, managed to get up to the uh, feudal age quicker than I did. That's very much down to the Chinese bonus of uh, building quicker. So they're able to uh, build their landmarks much more quickly than uh, every other civilization. So it does mean that they can get up really, really quick. The council hall is coming in now. And we're just going to start making archers, uh, longbowmen, straight away. So it's probably the, one of the 
best early, well, the, the best early landmark for the English the Council Hall. Probably want to wait till you've got two or three, well, probably more than two, three or four uh, longbowmen before you just send them forward and then you can just set a gather point at your enemy base and uh, start meeting up with them and uh, taking out the enemy units. So there you go, we've got three so we send them forward now. We're going to set a, uh, a gather point around that area so all of the new art longbowmen will just go straight there. There we go, we just set the landmark uh, gather point. And as you can see we've got more and more villagers coming out. They're, they are going onto the uh, sheep purely because we've got plenty of sheep uh, that we can still gather from so no real wish to send them over to the berries although we very much could have done. And as you can see longbowmen are just spamming the way forward now. So we just skip forward a little bit and we'll see how this attack is going to go. Okay, so as you can see, we're in the enemy base. They do have the Barbican of the Sun, which is a defensive fortification building uh, as their first landmark, but thankfully we've got good range. We are able to start picking off some villagers. We've even got the scout involved there, and uh, we're just delaying that outpost going up. More and more longbowmen coming out, and uh, essentially that is it for this build on guys so thank you very much for watching do like the video and subscribe for more age of empires for build orders and other age of empires for content i'll see you on the next one